Okay, come. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. So, uh, I will break up a little bit first. Uh, ready? Ready, let me know. Start, right? Okay. Today, April 13, 2014, Sunday, this cover like King Charles comes in. In fact, this is the second one. Or, yeah, on, I mean, today, today is the second one. And uh, with the same uh, surgery done. Now, this one, the surgery was done. The let lateral ear canal resection of the right ear was done. Uh, uh, around uh, three months ago. Is there any, any uh, complaint on this year? No. No complaint, huh? And... Uh, it's just the... Huh? It's just the tea only. The tea, uh, but owner has to maintain it. Mm. And uh, before that, it was very smelly, right? Mm. And the dog was scratching it a lot. You can see this one because she came rather late, so the ear canal is not so... Uh, the horizontal ear canal opening is not so, so obvious as the... Uh, the other cocker spaniel we saw just now, uh, and also it's quite recent. It's only three three months ago, right? Mm. But the owner is happy that there is no uh, head shaking, right? Mm. No smelly ears. The main complaint was smelly ears. So I'm just saying about the coincidence that the same breed earlier on we videoed the cocker spaniel uh, operated three years ago with no problem. Okay, now she said that the left ear, left ear, you can see swelling, inflammation and uh, a clock up opening of the vertical canal that is because uh, of the infection and the scratching the, the vertical canal is swollen so you can't see the opening normally you can see the opening uh, due to swelling you can't see so what the owner wanted was to do a similar surgery but I had told her that it's very difficult to do any surgery now because as you can see it's fully swollen uh, and it's painful and inflamed. So the best time to do surgery is about one week later. And uh, at the moment, if you do surgery, <coughs> it won't be very good results. Uh, the whole, whole, whole uh, area will be badly inflamed and <coughs> stitch will break down. So today I'm going to give anti-inflammatory injection and... And the, huh? and, uh, and the owner will clean the ears and give antibiotics. It's very painful, so this dog is really distressed actually. You see, it's very distressed. See the leg, huh? you see the leg, oh, there? the reaction. Huh? I just want to show the reaction of the, of the ear, ear pain, huh? ear infection. Huh? Okay, that's fine. So we see the other ear, you should not have this reflex if the, if the ear is not itchy. So we will show, not just see any, probably have some. Huh? Let me see, surprising one. Huh? Only the, the leg would yeah. But since the ear has no itchiness or pain, you see the ear is quite relaxed. I mean the leg, you can see because the hand is, your hand is blocking her actually. So, so that's why my theory is that, that the, when the dog keeps on doing this, actually it's an it's a ear infection. Because as you can see from this dog, with the lateral ear canal resection, uh, we will test test my theory. They, they test my theory, and uh, by 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 just rubbing the ear, and you can see that uh, there's not not much of a bit maybe, but nothing significant as compared to the as compared to the other side. Now the other side, I just touch a bit only. I touch touch a bit only, and then the dog will. You see the reaction. So this this is a simple observation to show that many owners think that it's due to infection of the flanks and elsewhere and then in this case because it's recent uh, so the dog didn't scratch the neck or it did, it did scratch a bit uh. no this one was huh? caused by the, the previous hmm. neck collar no it, did, it didn't do i mean there's not much damage to the neck or the elbow okay so so uh, let's see